I'd like to show you how I made this fun border and it's using the Gemstones Border Maker cartridge with the Border Maker system. Now, if you haven't used one of them before, they're fairly easy to use. You take your housing and you slide your cartridge in until it clicks. Then you need to take your guide, which looks like this. And you need to open out the back section like this. It's a little holder that's underneath, so it just folds out. Then, lifting this blue guide, take your cardstock and slide it in. Hold down your guide and take your back piece and fold it back. And then this little notch here is going to line up with all the notches on your guide. And you'll feel it because these match up. I can just flick it up to show you with these little notches. So it just slides into place. So it makes creating a border really quick and easy and accurate, which is the most important part. So slide and then punch slide and punch slide and punch slide and punch and keep going till you go all the way through now some of the our border makers create a chain like this and some have it attached to your cardstock where you'll need to cut it so we want to create I'll just move this away Clean my surface. We will need to create two, and I did it in the platinum silver, and then two in a darker colour underneath to give it a shadow effect. Move all that away and clear my spot, which I have already punched out in advance for you. So the black. And what will happen is using our repositionable tape runner let me get the, the right way we're going to adhere them just so you can see the black slightly underneath so let me go ahead and do that for you and you can see it's, it'll be just whoops the wrong way around I could go black, but we want to go this silver. So let me get this the right way for you. So it'll be like that. And then we're going to join them together. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you can see it just gives a really lovely shadow effect. We do our other side. And you can do this with a lot of our border makers is give it that, or border punches as well, give it that shadowed effect. So what we're now going to do to create the center, and you can see if I overlap them, You'll get this bow tie effect in the middle and you can have them as, a far, as far apart or as close as you'd like. So just a bit of tape runner. Some repositionable because then you can move it. I think I'm going to have them about that far apart. Oop. fairly evenly spaced and then the last part to the border is taking my laser cut strip my emerald gemstones and adhering that down the center and it's as easy as that so I think it's a fairly simple 
but very effective border. And that's it. Thank you.